Welcome aboard. Today, we're embarking on a voyage to the very heart of Rhine and inland navigation. We'll be navigating Europe's biggest and busiest rivers. Did you know that this mode of transport carries almost 500 million tonnes of goods annually? And that's not including tourist traffic. And as you know, river navigation is one of the most environmentally friendly modes of transport. But like any activity, it still unfortunately generates waste. This is where an international convention comes in, the CDNI. Six states decided to do something about the situation by developing the collection, deposit and reception of waste on inland waterways. Since coming into force in 2009, Germany, Belgium, France, Luxembourg, the Netherlands and Switzerland have decided to apply the simple polluter pays principle throughout an extensive European waterway network. Namely, vessel owners are responsible for their environmental pollution and have to finance the collection, deposit and reception of their waste output in proportion to that waste. Since 2009, the Palais du Rhin in Strasbourg is where the Contracting Parties Conference of the CDNI has sat twice a year. This is when the signatory states discuss the opportunities for improving the convention. To simplify the process, the CDNI has classified waste into three broad categories. These are oily and greasy waste, waste associated with cargo and loading, and other waste products resulting from the operation of the vessel. Let's start with the first category, Part A, oily and greasy waste arising from the operation of the vessel. But what does the CDNI mean by oily and greasy waste, I hear you say? We're talking about waste generated on board such as used oil, bilge water, engine room grease, used cleaning cloths and filters. Every vessel navigating in an area where the CDNI applies must collect this waste in separate receptacles in the engine room. And when a vessel owner wishes to use one of the waterways under CDNI jurisdiction, they are required to open an eco account with a national body. This account will enable them to indirectly finance the collection of this oily and greasy waste. Each time they fill up with gas oil, a charge is levied on the final price of the gas oil to finance the collection of the waste associated with their fuel consumption. Thanks to this indirect financing mechanism, this waste can be deposited in all the reception stations where Part A of the CDNI applies. Depending on the navigation personnel's needs, these can be mobile reception stations, namely vessels that come alongside, static stations, or tanker lorries. In the second category, Part B, there is cargo-related waste. After unloading, a small portion of the cargo remains at the bottom of the hold or tank. This is the cargo residue as much of it as possible has to be collected. There are two main types of cargo residue. First of all, dry cargo waste. In this case, depending on the type of cargo, the residue has to be swept up or vacuumed. The second category concerns liquid cargo residue. This cargo residue has to be cleaned using a cleaning system appropriate for the tank. As we can see, there is an appropriate cleaning method for each type of cargo. This is why a list of different types of cargo stating how the holds or tanks are to be cleaned is appended to the text of the CDNI. It has to be followed to the letter. Finally, it's frequently the case that after the appropriate waste cleaning, the holds or tanks have to be cleaned and the wash water deposited at the collection points provided for this purpose. Finally, it's frequently the case that after the appropriate waste cleaning, the holds or tanks have to be cleaned and the wash water deposited at the collection points provided for this purpose. Once this cleaning has been completed, an unloading certificate stating that the hold or tank has been cleaned in accordance with the CDNI has to be duly completed by the consignee of the cargo, the boatmaster and the reception station. This is a prerequisite for being able to take on a new cargo. And that brings us to the third category, Part C, which includes all the other waste arising during operation of the vessel. This includes in particular household waste, some of which can be recycled, such as glass, plastic, metal, paper, cardboard, special waste, chemical, electric, electronic and wood. It also includes other waste such as domestic wastewater, galley water, washroom and fecal water, sludge, sludge from an onboard sewage treatment plant, or slops, which are mixtures of cargo residue and wash water. 
So many different types of waste have to be stored, categorised, sorted and recycled. There are almost as many of them as there are reception stations. And that's just it. Finding a suitable reception station for the waste you wish to deposit is as simple as can be. Visit our website at www.cdni-iwt.org. Here you'll find all the collection points available to you in the six CDNI signatory states. This is also where you'll find guides explaining the correct application of the CDNI as well as answers to frequently asked questions. So there we have it. And yet, this is all just the beginning. Don't forget that we make every effort to assist you every day in this responsible initiative.